Making my way downtown, walking sort of fast. Goes from the past, and I'm homebound. Maybe Ren and Jonas can finally realize that they're soulmates, and Jonas can comfort Ren down from his trippy fucking brownie trip. And I can find the boat. Maybe find weird Clarissa on the way. Maybe I'll just find her body. Who knows? I have no emotional connection to Clarissa. Come on, Nona, hurry up. You slow. Where am I going? Down. I'm going down. And I miss you. And I need you. Epiphany Fields. Let's go. Let's go. I feel good at the start of this session because I haven't been spooked. So I'm not on edge yet. But I'll get there. I'm sure I'll get there. It'll be great. Play oxen free, they said. It's not creepy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Drinking my spider fluids potion. It's just coffee. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, <laughs> Nobody said it wouldn't be behind Jake. True. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, wait. Hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so. Well, okay, I can I'm scoot down there. I'm also just like never there. It's a loophole where I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacations. It's down here. Do your work over. So. Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Why didn't you tell us? We could have made this more of a, you know, a, a, a birthday, birthday thing, thing instead of just a beach bash or whatever. I, d I don't even know why I mentioned it now, really. That's not true. I was Can't thinking jump about, off. Uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on, I want to hear I don't want to start something because the year, conversations get no, interrupted. Just this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. Wait, Clarissa did that? Wait, you mean that bitch? Clarissa. Our Clarissa. She's a good person. Alex, really. It's just... It's like she's had a pebble in her boot for a while that she just can't seem to get rid of. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. Prepare for the worst. I should have picked that one. Her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's listen to the radio. This is The Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady. Protective and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. Okay. This is the foreign and domestic enemies. 
Got it. Oh, there's another thing over here. Wait. If I go down... Oh, it goes to the Adler Estate. Wait, can I just get in from that side? I'm gonna listen to this radio thing first, and then we're gonna go try. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above-ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. Huh. This <clears throat> so that might be an option if I have to, like, freak out and hide. Holy shit. Families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space wow. for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. That was fucked up. Okay. Well done. Well done, ghosts. And or aliens. I haven't decided which one you are yet. Probably just ghosts, though. Alien ghosts. Alright, there's the gate. Can't do anything. Okay, let's go to Main Street. Get the keys. Is that light red? No, that light's white. Yellow. White, yellow. Oh, there's another thing. Okay. That's not fucking creepy. Oh, it's a cute lighthouse. Wait, to cliffs? Is that where I want to go? I'm going to the cliffs. that noise is the audio coming through all right on the stream there angel bait yeah okay I move my mic super far away from me um, usually I have it right up close to my face but I found that I've been uh, peeking quite a bit on the VODs so I just wanted to try something new This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. 
Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. I wonder if I'm ever going to need to do that. Come on, Nona. Well, I'm at the top of Discovery Cliffs. I get it. Okay. Main Street. Let's go. Let us go. Buh? Nani? Okay, we're on we're at Main Street now. We have to go to the GIF or no, we have to go to the uh Rangers station to get the keys to at Miss Adler's house. Cause there's supposedly a boat there. So it's the parks and facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're we're close. Let's do it. Something fuck is gonna happen. Cause that's how oxen free is. Antiques and gifts. Oh, okay. Clarissa! What are you Wait, what? How did she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, shit. Clarissa, what? On the beach. Alex, the Christ, radio. what's Dragon. wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Dragon. Alex, Dragon. do you know what's happening? Is she... Is she gonna be okay? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them oh, off. God. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! I can... I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex! Ah. You think you can control me? No. Clarissa, I, what? I, I no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed, not a bit. But you're a fine what? girl. What? What more can we do? We're barely holding on to it. What more can you do? You can do your job. That's just for starters. You can be oh, what you shit. Up for. And when you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. What the fuck? Is she okay, or she's? I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can. I'm fine. Did it? Oh okay. shit. Are you sure? Cause that didn't look great. Back to normal. Well, I hope. Back to normal. What does that even? How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio, and I remember feeling like you were the reason all oh my this God. was happening. Oh, fuck. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all... Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions. Just... we have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. What? Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She... Why? Why does it have to be my fault? 
Why does it yeah. have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're going to learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead what? because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa this doesn't make it my fault. Jesus. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't. I can't believe. Ugh. She seriously, Nona. It was awful. All right, it, it's still awful. And and I. I don't. Just Alex. This is none of my business. Okay. Jesus. None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you- Oh, God. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever- do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Yes, I have gotten and presumably will continue to get deja vu. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like- Right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. Let's go. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. Yeah, isn't it over here? Isn't that it up there? How do I get there? Alex, wanna try and get the key for the gate? You know. The reason we're here? What am I missing? When I came into the map, it showed me that building next to the Edwards Island sign. Maybe it's this one up here that has a door signal on it. I don't know! Is this it? Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. Let's do it. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, okay. Has that happened before? Oh, yeah. It's... I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Okay. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Uh -huh. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID nice. tags or something. It must work for the gate to add their stuff. Uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Let's take it. Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. To... Puma should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control 
and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. True. Oh my god, the, the Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? What? We, we've been lied to all this time. Weird. So what'd you say? One four zero. She said at the beacon spots, right? One forty point one. Not sure why or where those are supposed to be picked up, but at least I can use the wall radio to unlock the gate. And a bunch of other doors, probably. Go to the cliffs of Dover. Jump. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Oh, shit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or fuck? something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I hey, mean... Hey, it's called I football. Mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad... I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's... Where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... <sighs> how, do, how do you navigate a situation like this? Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but I thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... <sighs> Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. I don't understand. Uh... 
It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> oh, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. All right. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or... I guess I don't understand. No, I mean, like, mm. like there's a past and a... And a future? Okay, a, a future Clarissa. Um, you're right, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry. So why is there no subtitles? Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff to... Oh, it's just off now. Hey, I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like, I know it can be annoying when... Have they been off this whole time? ...time for their girlfriend or whatever. So... I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Damn yeah, it. I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about oh, you man. all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back Burn. so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? That's I'm good. sure Alex sold you on how I lock Thanks, her in the Angel basement Lee. and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke, because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. Sweet. I'll be back. So this is all nice and shit? Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door, we live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're, you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look. I know this was supposed to be our day. This is really I fucking it, sad. I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know, no. Paco, I need it more than you. <laughs> Paco, you haven't called me that in years. Fuck. Ugh. Oh, <sighs> all right.